Hi YouTube, how's it going? I'm back with another video. Today I'll be telling you guys all about the mods that I've done to the vehicle so far. But before we get to that, I've noticed that the car is super dirty. It's been raining uh, for a few days now in Toronto. And I've noticed that for a lot of the ceramic uh, coated cars, that the rain, the raindrops tend to just build up on the car. And as it dries, it will leave all these uh, dry marks, these water marks on the vehicle. And it's super annoying and it's very, uh, it's very obvious on this type of paint. And I'm sure it looks even more obvious on black paint as well. But uh, that's one of the downsides of ceramic coating a car, I believe, because the car, the car um, is really easy to clean and protects the paint. But at the same time, when it does rain, it will leave a lot of these dry water spots. So let's get right to it. All right, now that the car is clean, let's get into the mods that I have done so far on this car. So let me first start and tell you guys the things that were already on the car when I got it. And that would be the Blacktail M Performance Package, which comes with the Blacktail grill. It comes with the Blacktail side skirt right here. And it comes with the trunk rear lip which is very subtle and I love it and lastly it comes with the 795 20 inch M performance wheels forged so that's what came with the car and when I got it it uh, was looking really good already but um, there were some things that I wanted to do just for daily use so what I did right away was I PPF the front, so just up to like I would say one third of the hood as well as the entire front bumper. Because I do a lot of daily driving, I wanted to make sure that any rock chips or any bugs don't start damaging the front more than it already has. And secondly is the all around tint. So I've got 15% ceramic tint on all sides, as well as the rear. And I also have 50% on the front. For me, the summers in Toronto do get really hot. So this is a great thing to, you, to do to your car just to protect the dash, protect the leather seats, as well as going into a not as much of a hot car when you do hop in. So let me show you what it looks like sitting in the car. So still pretty visible other than the glare that you see from the camera. 
it is really nice and uh, you don't get as much sunlight coming and hitting in your eyes when you're driving on a sunny day as well. I think uh, PPF and tints is a must for these type of cars and it does really help with the daily livability driving it to work. Now the next thing I did was these wing mirrors. These wing mirrors I got from AliExpress. I believe they're about, I forgot how much they were actually. I think they were like maybe 50 to $100. I can't remember. And there were two options. There was a glass black version as well as a carbon version. And I decided to go with the glass black just because everything else in the car is glass. Um, so I decided to just keep with that format. Although the carbon does look really nice. Now I know that the 2023 models and up do come with the wing mirrors already but this is a 22 and it didn't have it so i think that was what was missing with this car and now it just looks so nice i think it should have came uh, factory so that was another subtle mod i did um, next thing i did was to get spacers for the car i went with burger motorsports spacers i have 12 millimeter spacers in the rear and 10 millimeters in the front so here is how they look they don't poke out at all they just sit kind of flush with the body of the car so that's the front you can see the tire do poke out just a little bit and here's the rear this is with 12 millimeter and it just sits flush with the car. Now, in hindsight, I should have went with uh, 15 millimeters in the back and 12 in the front to give it just a little bit more of an aggressive stance, but I wasn't gonna take that gamble and I wasn't sure, so I went with a more subtle spacer. But it really did change the look of the car. It made it a little bit more aggressive and handling has improved a little bit as well. So highly recommend the spacers for these type of cars. Now, the next thing I did was get the front lip. So the M Performance package does come with the lip as well, but it's very subtle and it's very small. And it was already uh, tearing apart from the previous owner when I got it. So it was a bit smashed up already. So I decided to go with a more aggressive one. And this is just a cheap uh, AliExpress lip. And there's just a few bolts that you have to just bolt on and the hole is already pre-drilled for you so pretty easy install it's a three piece i'm sure you've seen these a lot if you do your research and uh, the reason i went with a cheap one is because i know that these cars might get damaged this is my daily so i don't want to uh, buy an expensive lip and having to replace it with another expensive one and uh, i decided to go with a cheap one and i can just easily replace it if it does end up breaking and this lip really changed the look of the car. Without the lip, it looks amazing. And with the M Performance lip, it did look pretty good. But this just looks the best, in my opinion. The next thing I did was to get the car lowered, actually. I was debating between getting H&R springs or the Dynan springs. So those were the two options that I was choosing in between and I went with the Dynan springs instead just because I think uh, it's not as much of a drop. I think it's one inch drop versus the H&R which is around 1.2, 1.3 I believe. And the Dynan did also recommend to get the Dynan supplemental stoppers just to have a bit more of a better ride quality similar to OEM. The ride quality is actually very good. It did firm up a little bit, of course, but nothing too drastic and still really easy to drive and comfortable on the streets. 
The last thing I did to this car, which I forgot to mention, I did it at the same time as I did the PPF and the tents. I also got a ceramic coated, and that was the last thing that I did to the car. And that's all I did for now. I do want to make the car a little bit louder, so I might want to put in uh, either a downpipe or an exhaust. Um, I also need a winter tire package because winter is coming and I do plan on driving this car in the winter. So please, if you guys have any suggestions on more mods, please leave it down in the comments and let me know what else I should put into this car. Anyways guys, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to see more. I'll be making more videos on this car and I'll be making videos on photography, traveling as well. So stay tuned. Thank you.